I was really impressed because obviously Seth MacFarlane stuff, you, you kind of get a feel for his comedy, but there's actually quite a bit of heart in this. There's a bit of drama and everything else. What was your favorite part of playing these characters? Well, for me, it was really exciting to be a new character that was introduced. Um, and I think, yeah, she's she's trying to be John's anchor and teach him uh, a lot about the world and how to not be as ignorant as his uncle. Or Would you call uncle. me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know, you, think you're better than me? Uh, you know what? Listen, <laughs> she's trying to okay. show him the ropes. And uh, I think, um, yeah, so I think that was that was really special. But it was really fun. I mean, like she says, even even just in the pilot, there's a lot of like good heartfelt stuff between our characters. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Obviously, the comedy is there, too. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's, it's Seth MacFarlane. It's Ted. Uh, but. It, there was a lot of like fun, real depth to these characters to play around with. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you're on set for something like this, and obviously there's quite a bit of zaniness that you have to say straight faced for when you're filming. What's it like between takes? Is it, is it light? Is it kind of like focused? What What's that like? Focused, but I think we all come to, to you know, ready to work. We're so prepared in our characters and, and our dynamic that there's so much room to kind of mess around and play oh, yeah. in between sets, in between takes. Um, I, that that was my personal, personal experience. We made each other laugh a lot. Made each other laugh a lot. There were like a few days where all of us were trying to find really inventive ways to scare you and, and yes. Scott in particular. Oh my God, like, I forgot like about Like Jen, that. one of the wardrobe supervisors, hid in a trash can yeah. and then jumped out of it with an Oscar the Grouch like megaphone. Yeah. And um, was that for Scott or me? I that, was for Scott. that was for Scott. That was for Scott. And then Scott scared me. Scar oh, that oh, was God. so funny. Yeah, no, yeah. there was a lot of yelling and screaming in the best way possible. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. What's Seth MacFarlane like as kind of this leader? Because he, he writes, he directs, he yeah. produces, he's the voice. What What's he like on set? And do you see him much? Yeah, that's oh, yeah. a really good question. Yeah. He was on set every day. He directed every single episode. He was doing the voice of the bear while directing, which is... Oh, he was. Uh, yeah, I don't know how one has that many hats on at the same time. Uh, it was, you know, I've I, we've both worked with him in the past, uh, but this is the closest that at least I've ever worked with him. Yeah. And it was wild. Extremely I don't know special. if I've ever seen anybody work that hard for that long yeah. and still find enough space in the day to like play around and just see what happens. Yeah, and he's such fun. a, he's such a powerhouse. He's, you know, he's so special. And I think, you know, just getting this group of people together was, it was so cool. And he's so uber talented that it's kind of hard to keep up. You know, mm -hmm. it was like, it was hard to, uh, continue to try and you know stay around and, yeah. and, and be on top of it so but it was it was fantastic i love the fact that it feels a bit like an 80s sitcom maybe even a little bit like alf but it's irreverent and rude <laughs> and everything else do you, do you feel inspired by you know something from the past in this or or what do you think of for that frame of reference yeah, I mean, for me, it was we used a lot of her references for me, for example, with like the hair and the makeup ideas right. and those concepts. So it was it was fun to pull from stuff like that. Um, and uh, but yeah, I think in general, though, I I tried to keep it as as neutral and as new as possible. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. yeah, it definitely takes its influence from like, you know, like late 80s to mid 90s sitcom yeah. stuff like that, especially in like where the conflicts show up. It's yeah. all very like interpersonal and internal within the family. Yeah. And every now and then something will happen on the outside. Um, in terms of my hair and costuming, uh, everybody on the team did an amazing job at making me look like a total dweeb for, you know, eight episodes. Like they, yes. they, <laughs> they killed it they 100%. Killed it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the series is fantastic. What I've seen so far, I, I can't wait to see the rest of the episodes. Thank you for the time. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much, man.